This is the Dr. Lambert podcast, episode number 162, originally recorded well at times in October and November, and so and some setup for December. So yes, in this podcast, I'm going to show you some of our pre-show uh, behind the curtains type of uh, talk as we are getting ready to do the show. This is features in uh, episode 159. So then you can listen to the pre-show stuff and then you can listen back to it to see you know, if we ever get to some of the things as well as episode 161. Also, and again, one of the main reasons why I'm also doing this is also to set up the up and coming podcast for the month of December. What we are gonna do in December is we are going to review and get to the reviews that we missed for Big Finish for starting with uh, the last release in October, which was the War Master Hearts of Darkness, followed by any non-Time Lord Victorious release in the month of November and December. So this would include such titles as Shadow of the Dalek Part 2 and The Wicked Sisters, maybe Reese and Yento's Excellent Barbecue, the Diary of or not Diary of Song, the River Song and Tenth Doctor box set, as well as anything that ha- comes out by the time, if we can get to it before you know before the podcast it, for the month of December 2020. So that would be such things as Apply to the Pimpernel and the Gray Man of the Mountain and perhaps Robots Three. So th- those that's one podcast to be looking forward to. Also. We are going to be doing a post-Christmas podcast. However, it's going to be kind of like the randomizer, except we all—I will have given every single host a random secret Santa, per se. And what will happen is you can either choose to be naughty and give the host something naughty to listen to, or bad. Or you can give something them, them not, something nice, but nobody knows who the Secret Santa is except for me. So I have to make any of my selections before I go forward with anything else because my selections cannot be a <laughs> revenge selection. So, uh, so we're gonna be doing that. Obviously, we will be getting to the whenever they do the Christmas special or whatever. And then we have been talking about the Third Doctor. Um, highlights lowlights era we've also with this current podcast that we are going to actually be recording in probably about an hour from the time that this gets uploaded um we are going to be going through the gunfighters can't wait to do talk about the gunfighters as well as we are and it's also going to be talking about john wiles because this a whole uh, executive producer, producer John Wiles has just fascinated me during the whole, um, it, you know, best thing that come out of the gunfighters is this idea to discuss John Wiles, as well as we do have a future, a uh, couple other ideas for some future podcasts. So stay tuned for those as well, too. So with, and then of course, whatever your thoughts are revolving around our previous podcasts, revolving around what you think about what our thoughts were or our discussion revolving around where the new show is. Are we too negative or are we not being open-minded enough? Are we doing way too open-minded? What are your thoughts? We'd love to talk about those, get those on the air. You know, again, email the show at Alambra Audio at gmail.com or you could tweet the show, DM the show at Alambra Podcast. So with that being said, here is some of our behind the curtains or behind pre-show chatter. I hope you enjoy. Um, I was telling Liam the other day, yesterday on the phone, that I've been working on the best of for the end of the year. And (laughs) can I tell you, um, I've I've listened to every single podcast dating back to the very beginning of the year. And I I was surprised. We've done 40 to this point. Bloody hell. Really? 40? Yeah, 40. (laughs) That's not wow. And I'm like, wow, like, I'm like, you know what? That, that's nothing to shake a stick at. Cause usually it's, it's been about 15, maybe 18 or so per year. I'm like 40. I'm like, huh. And the, the one thing that I noticed is how we have just kind of really changed things up from just standard review to <gasps> sometimes we get bogged down in the news and stuff like that. And, I don't know. I feel as though that's even more interesting than mm. reviews. Some of what we're doing. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
But can I also tell you, uh, Legion, I am so... I, I, I got to the episode where you no longer had your horrible Yeti, and I was just like, <laughs> oh... Yes. <laughs> that, that's a very that's a recent thing. That's what was that? July I got the Uh-huh. I've yeah. not been moved in the new house for very long. No. Yeah. I, I was sitting there and just like like I, I'm like, oh it's so tinny. So tinny. <laughs> well, do you remember my first few episodes on the uh laptop microphone? Mm-hmm. And they sounded pretty yeah. bad, didn't they? Yes, yeah, yeah. I tell you what though, I miss that fridge. <laughs> I, I I don't. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, run. What do we want to do first? Do we want to go to Chipnell because uh, <laughs> I I I um I was telling Liam yesterday. I'm trying to come up with a purpose for not chucking all of my Doctor Who magazines because oh. they're just taking up space on a shelf and so i'm like what could i do and so as i was looking through it and that's why i mentioned it because on the spine of the doctor who magazines i kept on seeing chris chibnall's name a lot Hmm. before he took over as uh executive producer i'm like this is interesting was this like for it was a foregone conclusion that he was going to take over Back in like 2013 or 14, like mm. it is is that? Well, you know, was this always in the pl- yeah. conspiracy theories will ring out? Um, talking of Doctor Who magazine, there's something that will probably interest you, Brett. <clears throat> uh-huh. They are releasing a special, um, and it's all of the 1960s Dalek comic strips from TV 21 magazine. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Ten dollars. Oh, not bad. That's not bad. No, no. One hundred and forty issues. Wow. <clears throat> what? That's pretty what, cool. What? Ten dollars per issue, or for the whole? No, lot? no, no. Ten dollars for the whole thing. That's that's really good. Actually. It's about because mm. quite a lot of them were only one shots, so I think it's only about four hundred pages. Yeah, but. They're all re-edited, recolorized. Um, <clears throat> you'll get to see the original gold Dalek Emperor. Huh. Yeah. And then all the Daleks that uh, they put numbers on because yeah. somebody thought that that's how they were supposed to <laughs> do yeah. it. Huh. What are your thoughts on the... Because um, I just barely got a no- push a notification on my phone revolving around the uh, Benny sale. I mean, I... I like, I, I I understand like the the intrigue or need to probably sell a lot of the CDs and stuff like that because they're mm-hmm. just taking up space on shelves, and you know trying to get rid of them for about five pounds or so e- each. But like, your I I believe Liam has listened to all of them. Like, are, are all of the ones pre box set? I mean, are those? I I I've. I think I've listened up to series four, mm. and then I just stopped. Like, no, they're are, good. Are, series, are they good? Yeah, series six. And What's the seven story? Crystal of Cantus. Crystal of Cantus is messed up. Six point five. Last episode I... in series six, and uh, series seven. End of that season changes things massively. It's. Crystal of Cantus is that is dark. Horrific. It is. It is. Very it is. dark. It is. Is it darker than uh, the Corpse Day then? Um. Um. Oh, have you listened to that? Not yet. I just remember you telling me it was dark. It's a that was your homework. Of dark. That was your homework. Mm. I mean, no, no, hey, I, I, people um, Lovecraft boy. W- 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 excuse me. <laughs> That's, I was, I was just Cha- about, just about saying, Ta- I know. Ch- chair stand on. Um, <laughs> Glass houses throw stones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, sir. I won't do it again. Maybe next month. <laughs> oh, or the next month. 
Mm. Can I just or say the month after that? Congratulations <laughs> for meeting your crowdfunding target for that software. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what? Oh. It's now probably the bane oh. of your life from that. Oh. I know. I'm like, I, so here, here's the funny thing. So as I was. I, I so that was the other reason why I got the Doctor Who magazines because I was like, what am I gonna do with these? And so I'm like, okay, well, I know there's one on like a breakdown of the gunfighters, so I might as well just <laughs> kind of pick that up and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and and kind of maybe help do that review. Let's, I mean, if we're gonna do it, let's do it right, even though it's <laughs> so crushing. Uh, so um, I I want to, I want to hear the story of of. But how we ended up at the gunfighters? Because never in a million um, years I did I expect it. I th- it was sometime around July. We like uh, we were. I can't remember if we were actually recording the podcast or if it was a pre-show, just banter or whatever. But I was just like, oh my! I go. I was like looking at the numbers, and I'm like, you know, I I know it's like it could be COVID. It could be. I know a lot of people are not commuting mm. as much. And like, but our downloads were like, like in 2019, they were basically a thousand or more per month minus February. And I was looking at our numbers and it was, you know, January, February started about like 800 or so. Then March hit and it just dropped to 200, dropped to, you know, still is at 200. And I mean, we, we, it was not that we weren't putting out content or at least in my opinion, good content, because mm-hmm. I've been again, I've been re-listening to a lot of it lately and like it's just nothing was being listened to. And so I, I can't remember if I, I said something or I blurted out something. Said, and I think Liam you said if we got over a thousand listens in one month period, you would sit down and you would review the gunfighters. That's true. That's true. And I will tell you, if miraculously the downloads go down in the month of November, <laughs> I am going to cry <laughs> conspiracy. <laughs> As you say, I've got a thousand people I owe a lot of money to. <laughs> Do you pay them a pound a piece? It's like, here, no, yeah. it's a penny. The, it only, lo- co- only cost me a tenner. They're all poor. Oh, you know. hey. Yeah. <laughs> and the real hard sellers, you have to give them like the the, the two uh, p uh, coin, yeah, right? Yeah. It was like, uh, like, uh, would you download this? No. How about two p? All right, there we go. So the secret huh? is, you find a load of blind people that can't tell coin shapes because there are such people out there, and you just pay them in drachma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so that that's how that happened, and it was so funny because. Where the hell have you got Dracula in, from? Back of the cupboard. I don't know, obviously. but it, it's it's a it's it's a reoccurring thing <laughs> that Liam er, Legion is bringing up in the podcast. I again, mm. I've noticed this because. <laughs> 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 uh, wow. But uh, yeah, I was uh, <laughs> so in 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 July, shortly after I mentioned it, and I think we I, we went up to five hundred. And then in August, I believe it was like eight ninety or something like that, and I was just like, like, you know, it, it's one of those things where I was rooting for it and I was rooting against it at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like, if we could have just consistently got like nine hundred and ninety nine downloads mm-hmm. for eternity, I, I think I'd be fine with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but and so then in. September we got like 957 downloads and so and and it was funny because I did say that I was going to review and do all of the Titan comics the first four with the 13th and the 10th doctor meeting up and I and I sat there thinking I can't record this yet or mm. and then I recorded I'm like okay I can't upload this yet because I can't affect the numbers and so like <laughs> five days, five, six days before the end of October, I looked at the numbers and I was like, oh, I've already lost. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> blessed. So, so I was like, I might as well just upload this podcast. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna go over a thousand, let's just go over a thousand. I think we ended yeah. up uh, October with like you know twelve hundred or something like that. Hey, that's so, wow. Healthy figures. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah. I, I, I'm impressed, but I will cry conspiracy if <laughs> the numbers <laughs> remarkably go down in November. <laughs> now you just watch it drop. Just gonna turn off my one thousand devices. <laughs> Legion goes to 1,000 different... Oh, no, you didn't. wouldn't have to go to 1,000 electronic shops. All they have to go do is go to a couple of electronic shops, go to their iTunes, click on download podcasts, and just <laughs> yeah. keep going. Move on to the next device. Move on to the next device. <laughs> Damn, you know my trick. <laughs> yeah. um, has anyone done any homework on the old chibbers? I have. Like, like I, I have. said, I got the... I'd, I'd I, I read a Wikipedia. I have a, like I said, a really <clears throat> interesting. Um, in fact, this Doctor Who magazine that I got that is back from what was it? Uh, it's issue four hundred fifty. It Bloody was the September two thousand twelve, and I wow. will tell you, this article we could tear him to part over just this article cool yeah but uh i i also found a couple things on uh doctor who reddit i found uh sci-fi wire had uh an article as well as screen rant good old screen rant <sighs> what yeah. do you do about screen rant eh So the guys how do we? Do, oh no, that screen junkies that I'm thinking of that do the um, trailers. Oh yeah, yeah, honest, on, trailer. honest trailers. Yeah. How are the uh, how, how are the intros going down? By the way, the intros, the intros oh. to the podcast. Oh, you mean like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. You know what? I get a kick out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thing That's is, the what's, thing. thing is, what's next? I mean, we've had He Man, well, and, and we've had um, we haven't had He Man, Shira. I we mean, have. I will tell. By the power of Grace, let's see. That was yeah, He Man. <laughs> the, the, the last one I listened to, and it's just like me. No, sit in a corner. Yeah, I know, right? All right, so okay. uh, here's my thoughts. We go through the um, character evolution of the Fourth Doctor. Uh -huh. And then we get into Chris Chipnell because I, I, I could definitely see us getting really bogged down on Chris Chibnall and then we Maybe don't get to top. the image. Yeah. Getting bogged down on Chris. That's a bit of a. Mm. Oh, please don't. <laughs> so uh, I, I also was wondering, what are your thoughts on Because maybe we, and you know, we have done like air comparisons, but. We go through Chris Chibnall, and then we go through Stephen Moffat, and we go through just RTD. Unless, mm. do we want to go back and revisit? Because we have not done an air comparison this year. How about you're all going to tell me to go and piss off and do some of But how about, because we're getting close to that time of year, we do a Christmas special comparison? Oh, not listening to the Feast of Stephen. I skipped that one on purpose. No, no, no. That, but, I mean, like modern uh, Feast of Stephen, you okay. can ignore. But like yeah, from um, I do Christmas Invasion up to twice upon twice upon a time. time. Mm. Yeah, no, that's a great idea. I like that because so yeah, let me. Um, I was gonna ask Liam, and then my uh, you know bad attention span kicked in the other yesterday while we were talking and I never got back to it. So hmm. this one is a fourth doctor. This was going to be fourth and fifth, but I believe it's a wise decision. Cause as I was listening back to when we went and did the first and second, by the time we got to the second doctor, I think we were all done with the whole thing. So, um, so we're going to do this in Chibnall today. And then I have on the 22nd, the third doctor, Highlights 
and or whatever Eric we want to call it, the right? the, 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 oh, highs, and the highs and the lows, mm -hmm. highs and lows, and then the 29th, I thought we were gonna do a randomizer, but we could do I couldn't fires. remember. What was that? We can do the gunfires. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We could. <laughs> I'll be off for. I'll be off for um, Thanksgiving vacation. So that oh, there's going to be all the no... time in the world. Yep. <laughs> uh, nothing in the world could stop me now. Nothing in the world <laughs> can stop me now. No, I was. I was thinking of Queen. No, but 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 right th 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 there, there was a reason why I said it in that tone. <laughs> <laughs> Because that sounds like they're, it's a, a joyful thing, and I wanted to go for the exact opposite. Um, the world can stop me now. What are your thoughts about... So, okay, so we'll do Gunfighters uh, the last uh -huh. November, the last Sunday of no November. Um, yep. We talked about Time Lord Victorious doing a, a whole breakdown of that, but I'm, I'm curious... If we need to push that back, yeah, for even later December. on, because I didn't know that there was so many. Well, no, but we. I think we talked about doing it the second week of December, but it doesn't I actually did not, end until January. Well, no, but I mean, at least big finish audio wise. I know it mm. doesn't finish until January, but I think we're gonna have a a, a summative thing or whatever. And I was, I was looking at the releases. For December, like I didn't realize it because I mean, let's see. So, like, see, December's releases that play to the Pimpernel, and then let's see, Gray Man of the Mountain, Robots 3. Uh, let's see. Then there is the Time Lord Victorious Mutually Assured Destruction, Time Lord Victorious Echoes of Extinction, Time Lord Victorious Genetics of the Daleks. So, we have three, th those three right there. And then, like you said, it does not really officially end until. Cause so here's where, I, and here's where I'm at. Um, and I again, I love your idea for uh, the the Christmas comparison, because I don't know if we can do a full on big finish review because of the amount of Time Lord Victorious. If we're waiting to do a summative of mm. All of Time Lord Victorious. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be January. Time Lord Victorious is gonna be is gonna have to wait until January. Yeah. And I mean, what we I guess what we could do is in December, we are not December. Maybe in either December or November, and or actually no December because we've already kind of planned out November. So in December we go and we do the, um, uh, all the releases that are not connected to Time Lord Victorious, dating back to the War Master, Heart of Darkness, as well as Almost, yeah. maybe, main, main, yeah, main, main range, you know, the Shadow of the Daleks or something like that. And so just get all of the non-Time Lord Victorious, the, you know, the Tenth Doctor and River thing or whatever, and, and get that done in December. What are your thoughts sure. about that? Yeah, yeah that works. sounds like a plan. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, so we'll do December. We'll do the the big finish that Isn't we need to catch up PLB. on, and then yeah, then we'll do in also December. We'll do the Christmas uh, stuff. Because it occurred to me the Christmas one might be nice to do just before Christmas, mm. but it needs post production and releasing. Yes. Preferably before Christmas. Yes. Oh, true, true. So, Brett is, is many things in when it comes to post-production, but a technical wizard who can travel through time is not one of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, once you get the device that you could just pause time and I can just be in some sort of, like, uh, you know, timeless bubble, I, I can get that done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on. Focus right, Scarlet. We're waiting on you. So, do we want to do a... Th Third one for the month of December, or yeah. So sure. we've got the the comparisons for December. We've got the reviews for December. 
how about we discuss our favorite releases of the year? That's yeah, that's a good one because yeah. normally we do a. You are on a roll today. I am on fire, aren't I? It's because the kids aren't here. <laughs> your brain is actually your brain is actually Asia, processing. Is Where yeah, are the yeah. kids? The kids are at my mum's. Oh, they're only there for a night. So, but you know, we get we get now at peace. So, do we want to go favorite releases from Big Finish for 2020? Is that how about is we that open the... it up to favorite releases of the year, Doctor Who? Yes. Oh, that's a great because uh, that can be novels, big finish, anything. Yeah. And if you don't limit it, then it's literally our favorites, whoever, you know, whatever yeah. it happens to be. And mm. yeah, I think that'd be cool, actually. Okay. Yeah. And I, I think just for the okay. fun of it, whatever Liam picks, we should tell him he's wrong. Oh, shit. He's here. He can no. hear us. <laughs> oh, can I, can I tell you? I uh, so in setting up the whole um best of podcast or whatever <laughs> one of my favorite moments legion is when <laughs> you were trolling Liam in his review of Space Race 1963 <laughs> I have listened re-listened listened to it some more I don't remember that bit Oh, uh, would you uh, like to hear it? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I can, I can listen to it again. Oh my gosh. I can, it's so funny. <laughs> I uh, get, it, uh, I have gotten immense joy of just listening to it. It is, it makes me laugh. I, I, I probably have listened to it to an, an unhealthy amount of times, but it is so funny because we know everybody knows you also hate space race 1963 and you're (laughs) sitting there trolling liam while he's trying to (laughs) review it (laughs) oh it is the best it is the absolute best yeah i think we've got to hear this all right okay here we go Let's see. Best of. Let's see. Legion trolls Liam. Legion. So, let's. We've gone through all five through eight. Let's. I'm gonna do some numbers. 1963 space race. This story was okay. Uh, I'm gonna say it was very run of the mill. Very, I uh, know. Actually, it was, it was below average. Um, but comrade, handy and... those tools. <laughs> oh, don't, don't. That 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 was when it got. Comrade, stupid. watch me chase my uh, tail. I... <laughs> comrade, oh yeah, I'm sniffing my bum. <laughs> seriously up until the bit she's like oh yeah pass me those tools and you hear her cut the guy's vocal cords out it's like you're a dog you have paws how in the hell hey there's Just... a painting showing dogs playing poker what's so bad about them using medical tools <laughs> precision leech precision uh well they can pick know. up cards with it you know with, with you know, with their mouth. Yeah, I, no, I no, no, the, no, really the, the, dog. the dogs, the dogs playing poker, but they're holding poker cards. Uh, well, well, cards are thin; they can put it between, them, between their claws. <laughs> so but... is a scalpel. Bouncing, <laughs> <laughs> and cutting. Look, Legion, stop trying yeah, to. Let's be honest. It's not cut your way out of this one. I, I, I'm going to get my way out of this one easy. Scalpels are quite thin. Dogs, put, depending on what dogs are, paws can be quite big. You know, they're quite quite flexible. You know, Here, dog, here's where Liam. Here's where you tell Legion shut no the fingers. f up. <laughs> yeah, Legion, shut up. I mean, I don't, I don't yeah. disagree with you. The space race is awful. It is but, awful. Yeah, get but, out of town. You know, I think you're being quite offensive to dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The thing is, right? I wouldn't have minded. 
And the thing is, what should have preceded that actual thing was, uh, you know, a JML advert going, a mail from JML, nose buttons. Like, I wouldn't have minded the whole thing with the rocket and, and yeah, it's powered the rocket with its nose. I could, I could at least see that. But no, no, it, it had to pick up a bloody skull. You just, you just, you just showing the point that you don't really like dogs. <laughs> the only way that this actually works is if, oh, when the dog Christ. finally comes back from space, and it's just like, oh my gosh, I have this appendage that I can, like, like the humans, like a thumb, and then we're like, oh, it's kind of been like genetically modified, modified. but no, it's just yeah. a dog that can talk. It's just a dog. Yep. Uh, it technically yep. it still yep. has a cool. thumb. It's just halfway up its leg. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and and the thing is right, and the thing that gets me was um, her yell for for animal kind. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. And the fact that she had to get monkeys to actually hold and use rifles just proves my point. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can hold a scalpel, but you can't shoot an AK forty seven, can you, bitch? Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh dear! I, I, I love that. I, I uh, <laughs> I'm a very funny bugger. I mean, I, I I love that you just you sit there trolling him the entire time, and he, I it it sounds like Liam's just trying to like roll with it, but you can definitely tell it's it's annoying him. He's getting crosser time. and crosser. <laughs> it was a shit release. What can I say? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's all you can say. That's all you can say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> the best of those three releases is Fan Theft. The common no! brilliant story. It's awful. <laughs> it is a good story. <laughs> no, it is God, not. It, it, I'd it, rather no, it, gouge it, my own eyes third, out. I love the, fan the third fan one. The th- with Sebastian oh, Bowie and the countermeasures. Th- yeah, the assassination games. Yeah. yeah, that's not bad. It's it's the best one of the three. Yeah, no, I don't want to sit there for two hours listening to Mitch Ben do a crappy Liverpudlian accent, moaning about how shit his life is because he's not one of the Beatles. <laughs> no, thank you. Bad fair for the common man's a good story. No, where's that, it's where's not. that mute button? I know, right? <laughs> it's better than the space pirates, anyway. No, it's not. You take that back. <laughs> I would happily watch the Space Pirates any day of the week over fanfare for oh, the frigging that's a, common that, men. Th- that's an interesting question because Space Pirates six parts. <laughs> yeah, there's only, but only four. Here's here's an interesting thing. So Space Pirates, yes, it's six parts, but it's six parts averaging twenty one minutes an episode. Whereas yep. Fan Fever the Common Man is averaging 32 minutes an episode. Actually, about the same oh. amount of time. Yeah. Mm. I just wow. don't get the Space Pirates. It's so slow. There's just score one for Legion and Math. Yeah, thank you. He's kind of on like a watch list thing. Is that a um, watch list? The admins has, has spoken to him about it. <laughs> He's having his posts watched, <laughs> I think. I've been in p- a part of this group for about four years now. And how about I, besides liking uh, all the people that say something bad about um, Minuet in Hell and stuff like that, <laughs> how about I actually um, post do something? Yeah. So I did. Yes, better it than is. The, it's better yes, than it the uh, time that boy forgot. No, it's not. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Let's see. No, it. No, it's not. The boy that time forgot is a, is a mess. What is it? Just Adrig perving on Nissa for the entire story in some weird <laughs> spider type thing. That's all I remember from the story. I don't even remember it actually having being a story. Like, I don't. I genuinely don't even remember what happens to Adrig in the end. Does he, does he die? It's something like a hundred and something. I think he does die. Yeah. Oh, I, do, I, do, oh, I just, ugh. no. You know, I'm going to begrudgingly agree with uh, Humphrey there. I, I believe that there's more of a story in the boy that time forgot than there is in the minuet in hell. Really? 
Oh, yeah. Okay, then. Well. <laughs> nah. So just out of I wouldn't say dreadful. Just, just out of curiosity, but what would you rate um, the Minuet in the Hell and and Natural History of Fear, Humphrey? <laughs> a quarter of a point. <laughs> You've probably got to put that in post production at this point. <laughs> just saying. Yes. <laughs> Well, I, I was just curious because I, I remember, what was it? Because I've been d compiling the best of and stuff like that. One of the things that Liam said after like years of coming to Minuet in Hell's Defense and he gives it a 5.5. .5. I, <laughs> I will tell you, I was so annoyed. <laughs> so annoyed. Glad I could amuse. <laughs> like, why are you getting this things back when it's b barely like... A half a point above average. Because there are worse stories than average. Sorry. Like the boy the time forgot. Actually, sorry. No. <laughs> Actually, average would be, I think, you know, if we're doing it on a yeah, school level, average would be 70%. So it average. is. Wow. Yeah. 90% oh. is 90 and up would be up on or above grade level. 80% yeah. is at grade level 70 percent is average kind of like you know you're mm. not there yet and then if you, you get anything that. below 59 percent which would be exactly what you gave boy that time forgot that'd be an f right I mean, there so yeah. i would give um boy that time forgot probably a 6.5 oh god no mm. it's much better no. than those other it's two not. stories it's it's panned by critics and fans it, it it really is panned. Nobody likes it. Three point five <laughs> for boy that time forgot. It's uh, it's still better than Minuet in Hell then. <laughs> Minuet in Hell would be two point five. I think I would give that. Uh, what would you give the Natural History of Fear? I I remember that just being weird, and I yeah. remember just you know listening to it and I was like, why? Like, what, what, why was this even a story? It was yeah. basically, like, you know, it, at least in comics, there's some of these, like, standalone stories that really don't have any, like, repercussions for something like that. But when you're paying, unlike comics, when you're paying, like, two ninety nine, three ninety nine for something, and you're actually paying twelve ninety nine for the, you know, this, uh. and <clears throat> the Natural History of Fear, and you find out it's not even Charlie and the doctor in the end. No, I mean, it's just like, wait, you could say, okay, it was experimental or whatever, but at the same time it was inconsequential. Oh. Mm. So I paid full price for an inconsequential story. That didn't like, technically even feature the Charlie and the, and the doctor. Correct. Like, it's correct. just, it's pointless. There's nothing to, there's not even a story. It's just a load of, unconnected crappy scenes that don't mean anything mm. now, actually yeah. i think uh natural history of fear is just a big fat zero in my book i mean to me the two probably worst stories and i you know i do rail against minuet in hell and i do rail against live 34 but i will tell you the two worst stories i guess you could say and not even boy that time forgot because uh, this is here's my argument. Uh, I'd love to get your opinions on it. Two worst stories: Natural History of Fear, because of uh, ins inconsequentialness, mm. and the um, uh, fate of Kralos returned to Telos, since it didn't happen. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's not mm. that good. It's still better. Th I would give that uh, uh, probably a three. Whereas, but then, if you're going on that basis. Zero. If you're going on that basis, you can argue and say that Gallifrey. Uh, oh, I, I what <laughs> intervention called? Earth, In intervention <laughs> Earth, and enemy lines. They didn't happen either. They get wiped. Oh, oh, 
t- so. I, I'm the first one to rail against how awful intervention Earth is and just grateful that, and in fact, it, the only thing that would make it even better was if Big Finish would apologize and give me my money back. <laughs> I mean, that'd be the only thing I could say revolving around Intervention Earth. Because it's like, a shame oh, thank you because, for. Because, you know, I like Omega and Ace and Narvin and all that in it. So, but. And even, you know, Trey or, you know, Romana 3. It's just annoying that all of that gets wiped out. You have been listening to the Doctor Who Alhambra podcast. Doctor Who is owned and trademarked by the BBC. Doctor Who Alhambra is not affiliated with the BBC or Big Finish. No infringement is intended. Visit our website at alhambrapodcast.weebly.com or email the show at alhambraaudio at gmail.com. Tweet us at alhambrapodcast. That is A-L-H-A-M-B-R-A podcast. Thank you.